Welcome to episode two, Tools for Bookkeepers. My name is Maria and I'm your host. Today we discuss seven secrets and what you need to know to have a successful career in finance. Without further ado, let's start and discuss this topic. I've recently been invited to join the panel of um, SCCA and also students throughout the country, um, organized by Target Jobs site, QUK. It's a fantastic website to find your first job or switch your career. And uh, we were discussing a few questions and I thought to share with my listeners a few ideas or tips that I recommended at on the day. So first of all, let's discuss technology and how it's currently being deployed in our workplaces and, and finance specifically. Artificial intelligence uh, and technology is rapidly growing in the sector and ChatGPT is one of the most famous tools that a lot of companies and professions are now using. Of course, it's something that is still on a trial basis but this is a reality of the future. So is the technology our friend in finance and how we can score additional points when we're applying for jobs? So in my, in my role, I work uh, in tax and uh, majority of time we use Excel spreadsheets. And based on my experience before, we also used Excel spreadsheets uh, in the public sector where I worked and further down, I, w I used a lot of Excel spreadsheets uh, for my own clients when I was doing bookkeeping work. And of course, now coming back to the private sector and reusing the latest updates of Excel, it's extremely useful. Uh, what I do recommend to, to look at is to learn more about advanced options in Excel is no longer, um, is no longer enough to know how to summarize and to, uh, how to put a total and those kind of easy navigation navigation around the sales. But nowadays I highly recommend to look into pivots, queries, and this material can learn for free on YouTube or any other sources uh, like read, KUK or udemy.com. So there are a lot of courses available and I highly recommend you to look at it. My recent example is that I've created a query which is linked to Outlook and uh, it's automatically updated. So when I have two folders in Outlook and I need to put information one on another, then this information is extracted into my Excel spreadsheet. I don't have to do any manual work updated manually or worry about it at all. So just a simple example how you can save your time and not only yours but department as well. And let's look at the second topic of discussion on that day. Uh, build a personal brand. And this was more about LinkedIn and having your profile and building own sort of um, brand on the social media in the right way. And of course, if you're looking for top positions and management or so forth, having a good profile score you additional marks. And for someone who's just looking or switching jobs, having LinkedIn is becoming ex extremely fruitful. A lot of people are connecting, networking, um, and are also offering jobs and applying for jobs through LinkedIn. So I highly recommend to set up LinkedIn in the right way. What I mean by this is you put information about your professional career. If you haven't had any professional career yet, perhaps you're just leaving the school, then my advice is to look for charity volunteer work. So this helps to get any experience that you can get at this point of time. And this shows that you're actively seeking and you also make friends along the way and connections and you never know perhaps after apprenticeship or perhaps after volunteership, uh, they have additional work that can they can offer. Do ask uh, if you do uh, some volunteering work, do ask 
uh, around if uh, they have any positions available and do try your heart to show that you're really good employer or you're really good person to to be hired take care of your health and build resilience oh, so building resilience is actually a process and so from my point of view it's a process for everyone that involves a good habits uh, by this i mean you have different sides of your life from healthy food meditation having social contact seeing your family seeing your friends going for walks if you really like fitness go ahead and have this schedule three times five times a week whatever it suits you but uh, having this sort of good habits and structure that really helps to move forward and build resilience, especially in the hard times or stressful times. And eating right, sleeping good, and of course, um, having enough water throughout the day. Might be simple things, but trust me, they really, really work. Then, of course, you need to think long term. Just keep focused on your goal. Essentially, you'll get there. And sometimes, uh, we do fail, and we do fail, and we think that's the end of the world. But perhaps that wasn't the right uh, position for us. Uh, perhaps that wasn't jobs that actually makes would make us happy. And so we just, or maybe it's not the right time. So really learn to let it go. And uh, some things might come back in some time, a year, two, or three, or maybe never. And trust me, in five years you'll forget what it was that you really wanted and you spent so much time and energy on it and uh, just keep on moving small steps at the time team game is the next topic we discussed and the team game it's very difficult to uh to judge because the, everyone's character is very difficult some have anxiety disorders some intro introverts extroverts um, and working in a team is always a challenge. Finding that balance is always a challenge. Um, but what I'm thinking is teamwork is about coming together and achieving the same goal. So if you do have the same goal, essentially, then it's easier to stay together as one unit. Adapt or stagnate. But the world right now moving in such a fast pace pace and we have uh, almost no time to respond or almost no time to to leave you know uh, we really need to adapt a lot and be flexible to what's happening in outside and employees are really struggling to find I guess it's a good communicator especially in the team and when you really like your work when you really like what you do you really don't feel like you're spending any time at work like you are waiting for Friday or 6 p.m. or whatever so you really feel like time flies when you enjoy something and it shines through so find what you really like and then I think it kind of the major brick in this pyramid so the employers see you that like you enjoy it and they hire you for this they hire personalities of course the experience or education matters, but most of the time, I think employers would teach at the sport. They will teach you what has needs to be done, what programs are used, and you have a good integration uh, in big companies at least. And last question was asked about mentors and sponsors. And I believe that it's a great, great idea to have a mentor or to have someone who is a, probably had the same way as you want to go if you would like to become a ceo and uh, you have a career coach or mentor to guide you i bet you will be moving 10 times faster towards that goal because you will be guided what to avoid how to apply for the roles what to say during the interviews so having a mentor, whatever, at university, um, a lot of universities are offering mentorships. SCCA offers mentorships as well. Uh, for example, I, I'm now a mentor at University of East London. 
I'm extremely proud and extremely looking forward to that, uh, to coach students. So seek a mentor if you feel like you need a guidance. We cannot know what we, we never learned or we never done before. So having a mentor is a fantastic opportunity. Pursue your dreams. How would I go about finding my first job or switching roles or actually just quitting one area of work that I was doing and looking what inspires me, right? So I broke it down to, into a few steps. First, I would highly recommend you to look into sector. So have a look what do you really like, what kind of environment. Perhaps you like fashion or theater or a commodity sector, something that really tickles you, you know, and from that you narrow down to what you like to do. Are you more analytical or are you more into creative side? Uh, do you like to in bookkeeping or accounting, do you like to reconcile the bank, logic, how to find transaction, investigate what happened? Or really, would you like to read tax laws and then consult your clients or your company? Are you into the internal or external auditing and investigating and comparing and recommending what needs to be uh, fixed within a business or accounting specific topic? So all of those areas are quite different, but narrowing down from sector to the role, what actually, where you actually feel good and it's okay to try and say, well, you know, you gave it your best and that didn't really fit. It's okay because as I said, if you really enjoy what you do, you actually don't feel like you work at all and keep applying. You will never know where or what will happen. If you haven't done any work before, as I mentioned earlier, I would highly recommend to look for charity volunteering or any other. There's so many dozens and dozens of different opportunities out there. Uh, I worked for NHS at the pharmacy in, uh, in London. So within Queen, Queen's Hospital, there is a little pharmacy. I loved, I loved it so much. I was inspired by these people who work there, fantastic team, fantastic hospital. And uh, I highly recommend you to look into volunteering and uh, you will see how it may change your life. I hope this podcast was helpful and uh, I will hear you in my next podcast. Have a great day.